Oh, how many of you guys have watched the Resident Evil movies? What do you think of them compared to the band, the games? Personally, I love the games. I love the movies. I don't like them together. You cannot make a movie out of a video game unless you follow the video game. But you can make a movie based from a somewhat world of a video game and have that make sense. Like, I like Alice. I really love Alice. She's a full fun character. Oh god, you scared me. Um, she's a little stereotypical for a character, but at the same time, that's what I think makes her so interesting. It's because she is, but she's not. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking up my butt here, but... Um, he's gonna throw something on me. I'm gonna be very annoyed. Yeah, you don't want to miss, uh, the posts, guys. Because I have treasure. And that would be bad if you miss treasure. Because, you know, treasure is our life in this game. Where is that stupid snowball thrower? There. Thank God. Um. But yeah, like, I didn't... I wasn't sure how I felt about adding, like, Jill and Chris and Claire and all them to the movies. I did like the representation of Jill, though. I didn't... I wasn't sure, so sure if I liked the actress herself, but the way they portrayed the actress as the character, I did actually like... They made her, you know, a brunette, not the blonde thing you see in Resident Evil 5, which, again, with most kids nowadays, you don't know, or you probably don't know, I guess would be a more correct way of saying it. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. That's nice. I'm ready, all right. That's another thing. Ready the dragons in uh, Peacekeepers like to have spots on them. Um, but... Uh, like, she's a brunette in the original games, and she actually wears, like, a little cap thing. The two top, I think, is most playing off of, uh, like, the second or third game, I think it is. It's been a long time since i played the original games myself, mostly because I'm terrible at them. And anyone who watches me play them will know why. Or, uh, any quote-unquote scary game, I guess would be more of a correct term. I, I don't do horror, you guys. I can't handle it. Like, I love it, but I don't at the same time. As weird as it is. I get it, Chest. I know you're there. But... Oh, Jesus. Where did I get up there? Somehow? I don't remember. I think it's like over here. No, it's in a different area. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Ouch. Uh, yeah zombie games. Multiple people can vouch for the fact that I really shouldn't be allowed to play them. Thank you for releasing me. He looks like a Triceratops. Or is that just me? Okay, now. I'm gonna try and use my brain. Because it's actually harder than you guys think. Using my brain. I don't really have to get up there, but there's three lives. Not that I've been losing them particularly fast anyway. Did I get everything here? I did. Huh. Psh, forget that then. Those are three lives I don't need. I don't need that. That crap. Ouch. My leg hurt. Got a little bit of time. I'm watching my recording here. Um. Oh. God, dog. Scared the crap out of me. So, I think we're gonna do a speedway next. Because I feel like a speedway. I never really actually got a, oop, as much of a kick out of some of the speedways. In, like, the first game here. Although I think this one, if I remember correctly, is my favorite of them. Yeah, this one, because it has the rings. And I loved the rings. I know, this, the speedways in the second game, I'm a little iffy on as well because of uh, the orb challenges. Uh, I always found those to become a pain in the butt because not only did you have to complete the time trial and everything, but you had to go and get the uh, orb from within each level, and I always have a tough time finding them half the time. Hunter was too good at hiding for me. What's that fish lady? That fish lady god in that one. 
I don't remember what one it is, but oh my god, she drove me nuts. Whoa. She was just... <sighs> drove me up a wall. Oh, goodness. I went a little off course there. Um, I don't know, I think it was just the way she talked. So, something like that. I like lighthouses. That's a little it's a weird thing about me that you guys might not have known before, but I love lighthouses. I think that must be so gorgeous. It's, yeah. I have a little ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We got this. We can handle this. Come on, lighthouse. I have a thing for lighthouses. I have a, a calendar in my room. I've had this one that's similar for like the past <coughs> two years. I always have a lighthouse calendar. I love it. It's so pretty. I like planes too. Like old planes, biplanes, stuff like that. That took me considerably less time than I thought it was gonna. Um, I don't know if I want to start another level. Um, I think there's only one level left. We may as well uh, start it. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. Doctor Shep. I'm trying to think because I've only got so much time left on this disc to record. So we're gonna see how well this plays out. I might make a another short episode just to finish up this level. Uh -huh. This is like the worst level, one of the worst levels to be stuck with no frickin' sparks. Which I realized I probably should have gotten more before I left. Hello? Let's go. Let's see? Contemplating just falling off the cliff here, guys. Because this is gonna be a pain in the butt otherwise. I mean, like, you like, frickin' touch every single jam. I always hated that. I don't really know if I like this boss or if I don't like this boss. I like Toasty's boss, the sheep. But I've never been fond of Dr. Shark. Wait, 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 wait. Goodness. That that was kind of freaky. I'm just glad that that guy wasn't out for blood. Oh. Oops. No. <laughs> that was actually an accident, you guys. I'll look on the bright side. I won't be as putsy when collecting things. Huh. Huh. I missed. Oh, huh. bye. I'm sure you were a fine gentleman. At one point in time. Yeah, they're so creepy, the big ladies. They like freak- Oh goodness, that was- I can't see. Hello. I don't know. They're not really- Enemies. Like I just kind of go silent for a little while. Um, I don't really know what to say about this level, man. There's not much for me to talk about with it. There's not much to it. Collect treasure, beat the boss. That's about it. Uh, I have to think of something to talk here. Um. I can talk about the later games, or what I plan for LP next. Oops, I fell off a cliff. It's alright, I was on a solid cliff. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in the next section here. Um, we're gonna listen to him, and we're gonna be done. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Subtle hint. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna stop this episode for now. Uh, we will be back shortly. I'll be doing a probably will be a shorter episode. We'll be probably just finishing up this boss and going to the next world, introducing the next world and all that. But we will talk about something. I don't remember what I was gonna talk about. We will talk about something when I return. So until then, catch you all later. <laughs>